This is mom and this is her grandparents' sem uh, tombstone. How do you remember them, mom? They were, I, we really liked my grandpa. He was real quiet and kind and Ronnie and I used to play poker with him. Uh -huh. <laughs> Grandma was very nice, but a little I'd call her on the aristocratic side. She, she came from a different background in Finland and she went through high school which was an accomplishment in those days and um, her name was Mary they lived up here this was where they were all these people around here knew each other mm -hmm. and I'll read Johnson it's 1863 true. is Jacob in 1944 he died Mary was 1870 and died in 1952, and Ellen born 1904 and died in 1909. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace. Now we're in Phelps and we're going up Tower Road where the fire tower is, where we left our beloved little Dogs Hunt Spreckles years back and forgot about her until we remembered her. <laughs> and then she cried and cried that we were a terrible family. And we saw her like about in the middle of the road. Yes. There's the tower. Ooh. And here is the fire tower outside Phelps. People would sit way up there and look around for fires and radio in to the firemen. And Dad and Nathan tried to climb it once, but it was very rickety. Back around, we don't know, 2003 or something, Mom and I were up here in the Eagle River area in the middle of winter, and we drove down this road, and it was all snowy, and I thought it was a big field up ahead. Why don't you drive up there, Dad, and reenact this wonderful scenario? So I came up here, and we parked right out on this lake, which was full of ice, and we thought we were on a nice, solid field. Ah! And we had the brand-new Firebird, and there we were. <laughs> and we got out there in the middle of this thing, and all of a sudden, Mom said, This isn't a field. This is a lake. And she ran away. And I was driving and I thought, what's happening? And all I saw was her hinder running away. <laughs> then we turned around and we walked back and left the car out there. Okay, Mom, what happened here? Well, we walked up to this little tavern, which was booming full of people. A big truckload of uh, snowmobilers with their snowmobiles were in there having a party. And we went in and told the bartender what had happened to us. And that our so, car was parked out on the frozen lake. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, all of these guys, I think they were from another state, said, Yippee, let's go and rescue these women. And that's what they did. And drove down there and a couple of guys got in the car and actually drove around out on the frozen lake a while. It looked like the Indians surrounding the wagon train. Yeah. Woo -woo -woo. <laughs> and when they got back to the snowbank, then they kind of lifted the car over, didn't they? And we were saved. Yeah. The end. What an exciting adventure. Did you go with them out there? Obviously. This is Little Sweden and Pioneer Lake. Beautiful summer day, August 2nd, 2019. This is Brian Metke, the famous pastor of Trinity Lutheran Church in Hell Lake. <laughs> Where is it? Bloomfield County? <laughs> Village of Bloomfield. Oh. This is Pioneer Lake Lutheran Church, and Mom came up here every summer for a couple weeks, or the whole summer. Yeah. You want to say something? Yeah. Well, things were different then, but uh, my aunt always had a car, so we did a lot of running around and 
we went swimming every day, lots and lots of lakes around here. And um, like I said to the group as we were driving here, the trees really do take over so that familiar houses or roads and other uh, places of memory change. Mm -hmm. And I have to really look twice to see, like in front of my grandparents' house, it was a big hay field. Now it's all trees, mm -hmm. hard to even see from right. the road. So you'd come up here and what would you do all summer? Pick blueberries? We just or? had fun, fun, fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, great. My dad would drive us up here, then he would drive home, then he'd come up two weeks later to get us, and whenever he came up, then we would spend a day or two or nights in the cottages on the lake right across from where we're standing here. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty good sized lake, mm -hmm. and um, my mother would Row, uh, row the boat and us kids in there. We didn't have such things as life jackets in those days. So I think she was always a little hesitant about taking us out in the boat, but we did do it. Mm -hmm. But this was her playground as a young girl because they could walk right down to the lake from their house. Mm -hmm. And, and, and her their... parents were from Finland, huh? Or maybe Sweden. Jacob Johnson and yeah, my grandpa was Jacob Johnson. My grandma was Mary, uh -huh. and um, all of their cousins lived right up the road, uh -huh. walking easy walking distance. So they made good food to eat all summer, and you oh, swam and so. pick blueberries. Did you see many animals, deer and no. No. Well, they were always around here. I saw a bear walking on your land a few years ago. You had to be careful. My mother never let us go walking in the woods. Oh, uh huh. Because I, the the story goes that my dad was lost in the woods. Once oh, really? As an adult. Oh, and really? He he said it, there wasn't even a sun that he could see to. Oh, direct his, uh, yeah, that happened place. to me once, yep. Well, thank anyway, you, Mom. Anything else? Nice place in the world. It yeah, is. and we have Pioneer Lake Lutheran Church behind us, which is new from the old version, which is off in the woods here now. And we're up here on August 2nd, 2019, and we uh, yeah. met with Brian and Cindy up here, and we're just cruising around with my dad and my mom, and me, Debbie. Yeah. Here I am. Hello. <laughs> I often, th this, all the people that lived around this lake were uh, Swedes and uh -huh. Finland. Uh -huh. Okay. So they settled. That's how people came to this country. And they were miners, a lot of them, right? Or a foresters. A lot of them started in the Michigan uh, mines and iron uh, whatever. Right across Ironwood. Right across the bridge from Hurley. Uh huh. A lot of them had been there, came to this area. Mm -hmm. Word of mouth. Yeah. And they were, they had a nice life here. Uh huh. Well, thank you, Mom, for introducing us to your former domain. My dream is that someday my kids will and grandchildren will be familiar enough to come up here and enjoy the great north woods of Wisconsin. We love it. Thank you, Mom. You're Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, Mom. Okay. We're on the north side of Pioneer Lake. On the other side is where my grandfather lived and all their cottages on that lake shore of Pioneer Lake. Now this is the church that was built new since I was a kid and we had an older church which they eventually sold for a dollar. The people made it into a beautiful home and it's over here to the left in those woods and you can still see it. 
but this particular church has been here quite a while now and I know the cross in front of the church high lighted cross was given in memorial of my aunt my, who we call Auntie Hill her name was Hilda Myers and uh, this has a lot of memories for us when we were kids they always had ladies aid meetings and coffee and all the good stuff to eat and so us kids would always be included of course mm -hmm. and we'd play down by the water if you want to turn the camera over there that's where we would play down by to the right, <laughs> right. Pioneer yeah, Lake, the northern part. Holds a lot of memories. I think so.